hi guys this is dr andrew and in today's video i'm going to discuss how i was able to prepare for my amc mcq in about 120 days before we begin it's just a disclaimer that i'm not trying to tell you i'm not going to give you a mantra that if you do this it's going to get you to pass amc mcq i'm just going to tell you what i did and it worked for me second disclaimer guys i had already done my plab one before giving my amc mcq so I did have some added advantage of doing one MCQ exam. It's difficult to give you an exact number, but if I have to say approximately 30% of AMC MCQ was PLAB MCQ. So guys, let's get started. For the first 10 days, I did PLABable gems. Now these are some PowerPoint presentations that are uh, that, that you get once you buy PLABable. So approximately every topic has a couple of slides these powerpoints are animated and they are very easy to remember because i had already done plab and because i knew that it's going to help me remember certain points that are fun one word facts like uh, investigation of choice for a certain disease or drug of, cho drug of choice for a certain condition uh next i did a six weeks course i did it with alan roberts and uh, which comes to be about 42 days so 10 days of my plavable gems, 40 days of my six weeks course. Next, I did uh, Amidex. So this is about 1400 questions and I did 50 questions every day. So it took me about 30 days to complete my Amidex. Next, I did the Blue Book. Now, Blue Book has been really important. Unlike MCQ Clinical, uh, I'm not allowed to say it, but just know that Blue Book is very important for your AMC MCQs. Next, I repeated my uh, Amidex for the second time. Earlier it took me 30 days to complete it. This time I finished it in about 10 to 15 days. Next I did my second revision for the blue book. Earlier I took about 10 days. This time I was able to do it in the five days. Next I revised whatever I, notes I had made in my six weeks course for the next 10 days and in the last five days I only did recalls. I hope this helps you guys.